access the admin portal, you must first go to admin.schoolinfoapp.com and log in with your personal username and password. From there, you'll be brought to the admin portal home screen. You can see you should see 11 green boxes in the middle of the screen, and you will have three options in the upper left-hand corner. The 11 boxes on the home screen are majority of our features and you can click on any of them and you can add, edit, and delete the content as you see fit. All of these features can also be reached through the menu button in the upper left hand corner and you can add and edit from there as well. The only feature not included in this list under menu is the My Profile. Under My Profile you can change all of your information and change your password. Just if you do so, make sure you press Update Profile. Next, we want to look at Reports. We will first go to Opt-ins by Device. This allows you to see how many people have downloaded the app and what kind of device it was downloaded on. As you can see, your school has 203 Android downloads and iOS has 318 iOS downloads. You can also download this entire spreadsheet by clicking download CSV and that will download an Excel file for you. The next report you want to look at is opt-ins by categories. This school has four categories set up. I will discuss more about adding, deleting, and creating categories in the news video. Uh, people who download the app are automatically opted in to every category, but once they have gone into the app and under my alerts, they can opt out of certain categories if they would like. And you can this is also has a downloadable Excel sheet. The next one we're going to look at is hall passes. This report you have to select a date range that you want to look at. So I'm just picking a couple random dates and then pressing get report. This allows me to see how many hall passes were issued, who they were issued by, who received the hall pass, how long it was valid for, the reason for the hall pass, and whether or not the student checked in and at what time, if so. You can, this, like I said, all of these reports are downloadable, so you can download it right here. Next, we wanna look at marketing tools under the tools button. We provide these so you can promote your app as best you can at your school. All of these are downloadable PDFs or files and you can open them and print them out and pass them out around the school or hang them up around campus. Uh, we also below that we provide embed codes for you to post on your website and if someone was to click on it, it will bring them right to the App Store to download your school's app. Finally, we want to look at Hall Pass Reasons. From here, you can add, edit, and delete Hall Pass Reasons. To add, you just click the plus sign. A reason would be, let's say, going to the gym. Press Save. If you decide you need it to add or edit a reason, say guidance, you can edit it by taking out the Mrs. Smith and pressing save. Now it's changed as you can see. Uh, if you would like to delete something, you just press the X. It will ask you, are you sure you want to delete that? And then you press OK. And that is just a quick run through of some of the features on the admin portal.